One of the biggest real estate development companies here in Western New York faces accusations of racism. And now a Buffalo Common Council member wants the CEO, Michael Joseph, removed immediately from the boards of two high profile organizations, Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center and the AKG Art Museum. This comes after the in-depth reporting from our partners at Investigative Post that we featured right here on the town hall at this time yesterday. If you missed that story, here's what you need to know. A former employee of the Clover Group is suing that company and some of its executives for wrongful termination. And he's made accusations of racial discrimination in how Clover operated. The employee claims that Clover executives would use the term Canadians to refer to black people and that they wouldn't build housing in areas that had too many, quote, Canadians. Buffalo Common Council member Rashid Wyatt saw our coverage and today he's calling on Michael Joseph, the CEO, to be removed from those board positions. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik talked with the lawmaker. I'm appalled and as we come approach the 514 massacre and we talk about racism, um, these are some of the vestiges that affect our community. We met up with Buffalo Common Council member Rashid Wyatt in front of the Jill Joseph Tower Senior Apartments in his district. According to the Clover Group's website, the company's only senior apartments in Buffalo. The rest are in the suburbs. I can tell you I've been at this particular development numerous times working with the management company to address many of the issues as it relates to many who are African American in this building and they've not gone addressed. And so now I'm understanding why they haven't gone address. Our partners at Investigative Post reported Tuesday that a former Clover Group employee recorded some of the company's executives using a code that referred to black people as Canadians, saying the company didn't want to build apartments where there are a lot of Canadians. Clover's president and CEO, Michael Joseph, is not one of the people in the recordings, but the former employee says the people he recorded are enforcing company policy. You're the head of it, so you have to take responsibility. I reached out to both Roswell and the AKG this afternoon for comment and have not heard back. Clover Group issued Two on Your Side a statement saying Michael Joseph has dedicated himself to extensive philanthropic activities that benefit others, including the African American community. And although I'm not in a position to demand his resignation, but I think to have Dr. Johnson saddled with someone who has a different viewpoint of the world and of the community as she does, they should not be there. And that's the problem that I have. The residents at this development, Jill Josephs, deserves the very best. And it seems as though this company took this building over for whatever reason, but it wasn't for the best interest of the residents. And Kelly joins us now. So Michael Joseph, again, the chair at Roswell yes. Park. Um, it turns out he was appointed by a previous governor to that position. Yeah. Um, so the question, what does Kathy Hochul think about all of this? Right. So as soon as I found out that he was appointed by a governor, I think at least probably by Pataki, because I found an article from Business First from 2004. That's when Pataki was governor. Um, I reached out to the governor's office this afternoon to find out if they were going to take any steps to ask him to remove or to remove him. I'm still waiting for a response. Yeah, interesting to see how that policy might work yeah. if the governor takes that Steps action in, or tries right. to. Kelly, thank you. Yeah. Uh, coverage on this important story continues right now online at investigativepost.org, including other lawsuits and allegations that Michael Joseph is facing. Also, IP is looking into major donations that he's made to elected officials here in Erie County and across New York State. Again, a big donor to a lot of Democrats. That's all right now at investigativepost.org.